to and now on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, it's Tua. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. Now Tua. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this will be caught at the three. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Herbert now. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Running on first down, Eckler. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now it's Herbert. Going deep here for Allen. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. This one from 48 yards away. Hopkins' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. Did you trade sixes for threes? Things are going to work out in your favor. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Tua sets up to pass it. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Jerry Tillery drops him for a loss of 10 and it's going to be fourth and long. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Oh, wide open, complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big game that time for the Chargers. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Eckler, they run left side. And he's brought down just outside of the ten at the eleven. Five yards. Now it's third and five. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Herbert. Caught left side, Williams. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Eckler again. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship. Third and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Forced out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Disastrous outcome there on third and goal. They lose nine yards on the sack. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's 2-for-2. Two two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, to me, there was no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to pass. Tua. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And that's incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes, and you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. Two on a throw again. 
All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation, and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A big play that time on the catch and run. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A handoff, it's Eckler. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Play action. It's Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Nick Boyle there to make the grab. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in this AFC title game. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make this a six-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. him up five first and 15. Throwing now is Tugabailoa fighting through pressure. His throw incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's Tua. Swinging this out for Pollard. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Tua looking to throw on third and two. And this one is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. 
And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run for it with Pollard. Pollard now a first down and more. And finally down at the 41-yard line. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book, right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? Deciding to go for it right there. Oh, yeah. Your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, be warned. He's coming for you. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Jerry Tillery in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Throwing on second and long. Tua. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play there for the Dolphins. First and 10 at the 25 yard line. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. There's Fuller for a Dolphin touchdown. Will Fuller with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins have tied it. Now they can take the lead with the extra point. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. 